Good evening from the farmer's garden. I'm one of the farmers and I want to talk to you for a minute about how we handle our eggs. Um, this is something that came up at market today. We uh, answered the question the best we could there, uh, but then the individual asked, well, how do I see it? And I'm like, well, Facebook or YouTube and we've got it all out there. So here it is. Um, if that gentleman is watching tonight, I hope this helps you. I hope it explains um, some of the stuff that I wasn't able to show you very well today at the market. And I do thank you for trying our eggs, even though you were a bit nervous about them. I appreciate it. That means a lot to me. Anyways, um, so I just want to go over kind of how we clean our eggs. Uh, this is how we, as an individual farm, do it. This is not how commercial producers do their eggs. They're going to have a whole different set of standards that they have to use than what we use. Um, but this is what we use that makes them safe and able to be marketed to the public. Hey folks, we had a question at market today um, about how our eggs are cleaned and how they would be at least as safe as grocery store eggs or, you know, hopefully safer in my opinion, but the customer wanted to know that they were at least as safe as grocery store eggs. So I just, um, we talked through the process while we were out there, but I thought I'd show everybody because it was a good question. Uh, so the first thing is we try not to keep eggs that are nasty. Um, so this egg you can see has some poo on it. This is about the limit of poo that we let go in the house. It's just some like this that's dry that we can mostly just flake off like that. Um, if this egg was soaked or stained or um, exceedingly wet or nasty, we would take this egg and crack it on the ground and let the chickens eat it again. We would not bring it in and try to wash it. Uh, so all of these eggs, this is how they came out of the nest box less than five minutes ago. This is how clean they were. You can see most of them are in good condition. And I'm gonna take you up to the house and show you our washing process so that you can see that. Okay, we're ready to start washing eggs. This is the one I showed you that the stuff was mostly dry and could just be dusted off. Anything that is still on the egg, we're gonna wash off. I do like to use a sink of warm water uh, versus running water just because I don't have a place to have um, like the water recycled or anything and so I don't want to waste that much water. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how commercial producers have to do it. I'm certain that theirs is going to be some type of water bath as well because it's going to be um, automated. Anyways, you can see that everything came off of that egg and that was not a lot of scrubbing. scrubbing. Um, so that is not probably anywhere near enough scrubbing to damage the bloom on this egg. The bloom is the last coating that the chicken is going to apply to the egg it is there to seal all the little pores in the eggshell and keep bacteria from making its way inside the egg. So again, not super dirty. We just needed to um, basically wash the dust off, any bits of feathers, any um, sawdust, bed shavings, that sort of thing. So that's all there is. We're not doing a whole lot of deep scrubbing. We're not using any harsh soaps or anything like that. We are just getting the dirt off of them. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, we are using hot water to wash with. This is about dishwater hot in here. Um, you want the water to be warmer than the temperature of your eggs. So there's all the clean eggs. The warm water keeps the um, any air in the membrane and whatnot, keeps it from contracting and just sucking bacteria in through the shell. That's why you would never take a dirty egg and put it straight in the fridge. A dirty egg straight in the fridge contracts and it allows the bacteria inside. So wash your eggs before you put them in the fridge. Unwashed, they can stay out of the fridge. But I can't sell them that way, so they're washed. Okay, this is less than 15 minutes from the time we took these eggs out of the nest box. They are now washed and cartoned, and their next step is the refrigerator. And that's about how fast we aim to have this done every night. We aim for like 30 minutes from the nest box to the fridge. So they're not sitting here just washed and just sitting out. Um, they go straight into the fridge and then they are kept at temperature in our refrigerator here or at the market. They have to have ice packs and stay at 45 degrees while we're out there. So there you go. That's the kind of brief summary of how we handle our eggs. Um, again, we try to keep our nest boxes really clean. I didn't show the nest boxes in this video because I have a couple of chickens that are broody, which just means they're trying to set on eggs. There's no rooster in there, so their eggs aren't going to do any good, but they don't know that. Um, 
so they're being broody and they're kicking all the bedding out of the boxes and the, I need to get it refilled. So I just didn't show the boxes tonight. Um, didn't want to show the ugly side of that tonight, I guess. Um, but we keep clean uh, pine shavings in our nest boxes. We like pine shavings better than straw because uh, chickens, the egg and the poop come through the same hole. And so sometimes it's kind of messy. And we find that the shavings are better for not sticking to the eggs and not making clumps with the poop in the boxes. Um, we're also careful to not let our, or to not encourage our chickens to roost on the nest boxes. We have other roost for them and we try to keep it to where they roost on the roost and not on the nest boxes because when chickens sleep, they poop. And if they're roosting or sleeping on the nest boxes, then they're filling those boxes with the poop and that we're trying not to do that. Anyways, I would, I would speculate that our eggs are going to have a lower bacteria rate than a lot of commercial um, laying producers. Um, one thing I did discuss at the market with our customer today was caged chickens and the way their eggs are produced. So caged chickens means that the chicken is literally in a cage its size. Um, and there are minimum standards for how big the cage has to be, that sort of thing. Um, I don't personally feel like those minimums are good enough. But anyways, the chicken is in a cage. It lays an egg. The egg immediately rolls out and it rolls into a trough of water. And the water is moving, which causes the eggs to flow just like a river. And so the eggs and the poop and whatever else is falling into that trough and it's flowing like a river down to the end of the line where it goes into a processing facility and then the eggs are scrubbed and generally some type of mineral oil is applied to replace the bloom and then they're cartoned and then it's usually three weeks, about three weeks from the time it comes out of the chicken to the time the egg makes it to a store. And then the store can of course keep it in their coolers for a while and the, the date stamp, the expiration date on the eggs, I believe is applied at the store in most cases or perhaps at the packing facility. I can't remember which. But at any rate, they're like three weeks before they even get to the store. And then as you know, when you buy eggs, it's a few weeks out still on the for sale date. So if you think about our eggs, um, most of the time the eggs that we have at the market are within seven days old. Uh, we try to sell out on Saturday and we try to sell out again the next Saturday. So we are trying to have only the eggs from that week. Um, now I told our individual today, that's not the case today. We had kind of stocked up getting ready for this market. And so we did have two or three weeks worth of eggs with us today. But again, still very much within that store egg category of how old they are. Um, we brought home seven dozen today. We will store those separately so that we know that they will for sure be on the top next week to make sure that they're the first ones that go out. Or if we have any orders throughout this week, we'll sell those first. So we try to do a first in, first out um, with our eggs. We keep them sorted on the shelves. We don't put any sort of collection date or anything on there. Um, that is something we could do if we had enough people that were concerned about it. Um, but it's just never been anybody's concern because we just, we pick them up this week. And we sell them to you this week. And most of our customers are eating the eggs within a week or two after they purchase them. Um, again... Commercial graded eggs are going to be handled a little differently. That's just how we handle ours. And we do have to have health department inspections and permits to be at the market. Um, there are different things that we have to do to ensure safety. So I hope that this answers some questions from any of you who may have been apprehensive to buy eggs. I hope it answers some questions from our friend today. Um, and I also hope that the rest of you enjoyed our video because this might be something that you've ever, maybe you've never thought of it. Maybe you don't care. Um, but maybe you learned something. Anyways, thank y'all for stopping by the farm today. I hope you enjoyed your visit. Y'all be sure and tell your friends about our YouTube channel and come back when you can stay longer.